Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you had an amazing 2019. Today, I have the beautiful and the amazing Grace. Amazing Grace. Hey guys, it's so good to be back. It's great to have you back. A lot of my followers have been asking for an updated makeup tutorial on clients, and I thought today would be the perfect opportunity to do so. Uh, I wanna play with like purples, pinks, oranges, something a little bit more spring. I know it's not springtime, but who cares? And uh, yeah, we did a look actually kind of similar to the style, but different color scheme on Instagram. It's actually one of my favorite looks that Arabia has done. It's my favorite too. Yes. It's really cute. It's very monochromatic, this kind of bronzy terracotta look. And a lot of my clients ask for this kind of style. So uh, I thought I would do it for Instagram, but for YouTube, we are playing with different colors. We're doing something more fun. Let's experiment. He is giving it to you. Yes. And <laughs> shall we start? Yes. Let's go ahead. Let's go. Close your eyes and open it. Aww, you! Oh, it's a coaster it's a for your coffee. <laughs> you know hey, what? use it, not this. No, you know what I thought? Use it when you have a client, we go to coffee. This is your coaster, so you can always know that you're a diva. It's Isn't so, it so nice? cute. This is so adorable. You might wake up. He's so extra. If you guys want to get my new coaster available, <laughs> RabiaFelix.me. Oh my god! You know I didn't see it yet. It's so beautiful. Yeah. It is gorgeous. This is more sanitary than the one I have, by the way. Oh! <laughs> the first step to every flawless makeup application is skin prep. And Grace does know this. I take my time when it comes to skin prepping. Yes. It's extremely important and it does actually change the entire look if you apply, you know, the necessary moisturizers, serums, or primers, whatever you need to achieve the look. So the first step, I will use the Hyaluronic Acid Serum from Good Molecules. I've been loving this one lately. And uh, have you tried this one? No, the Hyaluronic Acid Serum that I use is from the brand The Ordinary. Yes. So that's what I use before my makeup. That one is great. Uh, it's just sold out everywhere now, so that's why I found this one and it does work the same way and it's very affordable as well And Grace was really sweet enough to gift me this on my birthday. How nice is this you guys? It's so beautiful and now I'm gonna use it for every single client just to look at my face and drag and just like stare at this stare at this bitch <laughs> Just spreading this all over my face. It's like you're priming your own face, right? It's a two-in-one job. I mean, it's fun. Look at it. What do you use currently for your... Skin? Mm -hmm. Before my makeup? Yeah. I use the Kiehl's Eye Under Eye Hydrating um, Moisturizer. Mm -hmm. It's the one in avocado, right? Yeah, I think so. And I use the Ordinary um, Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I also use um, like three drops of Argan Oil before my makeup on really dry areas. The Rose Hip Oil is very, very good for stretch marks. It's what I use currently on my stretch marks. Really? If your stretch marks are red and you use Rose Hip Oil on your stretch marks, the next day they're gone. I yes. need to use that all over my body. Now I'm gonna go with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. You guys know that this is a cult favorite and it's absolutely my favorite skin uh, kind of primer, moisturizer to use on my clients. However, now I only use it on certain areas of the face. I don't apply it like before. Uh, remember before I used to apply it like all over the face, <laughs> even the under eyes. But the problem with that is that I have found that it actually kind of makes the concealer crease if you apply it under your eyes because it is super heavy and I have found that the best way for it to work is to apply it only on the dry areas and the areas where you can apply the most cream products so to me the most cream products I'm gonna apply them are on the cheeks because I'm gonna apply you know bronzers contours cream blushes and all of these are gonna be uh, creamy liquids yeah so I'm gonna avoid the under eye areas and I'm actually gonna avoid the forehead as well. So if you guys are new to my channel, my style of tutorials is almost like a chit chat, get ready with me with the model. So we talk, we kiki, and we talk a lot about stuff in life. That's what we did last time, it was right? really fun. It was fun, I enjoyed that. It was also fun watching. Like I could watch this again right now. Because 
Because you're in it. You're in it. No, I like. No, I like. <laughs> you no, know what? Doesn't. I really like how. Stop, his stop justifying yourself. Yeah, I actually really like how Arabia's voice sounds in the video. Thank you. A lot of people tell me I have a soothing voice, it and is, I like to think so. <laughs> it is very soothing. It's very nice to hear. So as you guys can see, this area is extremely well hydrated and moisturized. I don't need to apply it on the other areas like the forehead or whatever. I just can apply whatever is left on the brush and just almost like spread it. Before applying the foundation, I'm gonna use a color corrector and I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Concealer. And this is in the shade Peach. I did use it on Grace uh, before and actually looked great. And this has like a very peachy kind of salmon uh, undertone. And it helps to cancel any kind of, you know, brown or green tones showing in the skin. And I'm gonna tap it in. I'm not gonna blend it right away, I'm just gonna tap it. And I'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit, and then I'll blend it away. The reason why I wait for it to dry a little bit is because I want the concealer to thicken up and to almost, you know, produce its full potential, the full coverage that it gives. If I blend it right away, it's just gonna become a sheer product. And Grace does have dark circles, but I always tell Grace that she has sexy dark circles. Which, what I mean, if I'm doing uh, a smoky eyes on her, I don't need to cover this entire area, like how we see on Instagram. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna focus the color corrector in here, and I'm just gonna keep this. Her natural dark circles will act as a transition shade. And That's very nice to hear. It's as weird as it sounds. It will be a great base for a brown smoky eye, a reddish brown smoky eye, and uh, yeah, you utilize what you have, girl. Like for example, on me, I don't like to hide my dark circles fully. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like it makes my face kind of look weird. weird. Yes, unless I'm doing a full eye look. No, that's when it's kind of like okay yeah that's when you can bring back that um, darkness underneath without having to worry about it mm -hmm. now I'm blending in the color corrector Arabia hmm? what was the first makeup product you used and when the first makeup product mm -hmm. hmm that was oh I remember exactly what it was yeah. it was a Victoria's Secret lip gloss that I stole from my sister. You always steal that product, don't you? And uh, I was about eight years old. Wow. Yeah. And I felt so amazing and I applied it all over my lids. And I like the Jeffree Star Concealer, the corrector. But I think you can honestly wear it on its own. You can, Grace can wear this on its own and it will look amazing on her under eyes. It's so natural, I love this one. I'm so excited to see what that looks like. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Ultra HD foundation from Makeup Forever. I love this foundation. It's my also ride or die for clients because it has a great consistency. It's very creamy and it's very hydrating. And I found it to work on most skin types. It's my personal favorite foundation. What's nice about it is that you can build it up. It starts off with a light to medium coverage. And I feel like the more you build on top, the more full coverage it gets. Mm -hmm. By the way, I have a question for you. Yeah. So on our last video, I saw a few comments about um, how we used contact lenses. Yeah. I saw that a lot of people had a problem with us using them, which I personally did not understand. Um, just because where we live right now, we use contact lenses on like an everyday, everyday basis, basis and we like to change colors. Yes. So that's one thing I did not understand. You know, a lot of people started calling me like uh, racist no. and stuff like you're changing her ethnicity. You took from her beauty just because you forced her to wear lenses. No. And the thing you guys, I want you to know that I love the true colors of her eyes, but contact lenses are almost like a lipstick shade to me. Like they're an extension to a look and uh, they're a huge market here in the Middle East. Like you have no idea the percentage of women who wear contact lenses, like intense colors on daily, like it's crazy. Exactly. You know, sometimes we also like 
put on a look and cannot see it complete without without the, lens. the lenses. Yeah, so it's something that we we're very comfortable doing. Yes. Yes. I have clients who will tell me like if you, if you don't put contact lenses on me, I will not go out. Yes. Like I cannot see myself without contact lenses. Yeah. And we have huge huge Middle Eastern celebrities who wear contact lenses like on a daily on day let's say like Maya Diab or yes. like Haifa Wabi. I've never seen her you've with never no seen contacts. her like rarely maybe like once or twice yeah. in her like lifetime but like and good for her you know you know we're allowed to, to do that without being told that we're like trying to hide someone's ethnicity or it's yeah. just something we have fun with it's just like extensions of weights yes you know today look we're showcasing her natural eyes like the colors we're applying are enhancing the brown eyes and we're not even applying lashes as well so it's all about that like kind of appreciating your natural beauty but enhancing it with colors it's, yes. it has nothing to do with race or not appreciating middle eastern beauty or whatever mm -hmm. for concealer i'm gonna use the nabla concealers i've been loving these ones lately and I did use them on Grace before and she really liked it as well. So much. Uh, they're very full coverage, so I'm just gonna use a tiny bit. And what I'm gonna do actually, I'm gonna use a darker shade and almost like a shade that matches her foundation. I'm definitely more of a full coverage concealer and a light foundation kind of girl. Oh. Like, yes, I would go for like that full coverage concealer. I feel like I kind of do the same thing. Like, I apply a medium to full coverage concealer and I apply a really sheer, sheer foundation. foundation. So this is like, it almost matches the foundation, just has a slight peach tone to it. I'm gonna apply the darker one right under her eyes. Now I'm applying the kind of light shade and the reason why I apply like almost like a dark golden shade first is because I don't want the light shade to cover the entire area. So if I apply just this shade that I'm applying now all over her under eyes, after you sheer it out it will just become this one shade and it will not flatter the skin underneath it. So you will find the areas look great and then there are areas that looks great. It can turn gray. It can turn easy. gray. So if you're having a hard time, you know, finding, you know, the right shade for your under eyes, my under eyes are purple or green or brown. What is it exactly? Mm -hmm. uh, the best way to do it is to apply a shade darker than your foundation. This will always keep you safe. Always. It will, and if it's a little bit more golden or peachy, depending on whether you're more golden, olive or neutral pink. Um, that's what I found that works the best. And then you can apply the light shade just in this area that I showed you here. And I do that anyways. I always use um, two shades concealer. of concealer. Yeah, I always use two shades of concealer. I never use one shade. There are a lot of people who just use one shade as long as it's full coverage. Yeah. And it makes the face great for with a ring light or for Instagram or whatever. But in real life, it does not look realistic. Yeah, I feel like the more you use different shades on your face, like with that foundation um, palette from Makeup Forever. I use like three shades. Yeah, it's perfect for like evening out your skin tone without just using one shade on your face. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, now it looks like we applied one shade. It does not look like we applied a darker shade that does not match our face. To add more bronze to the skin, I'm using the Chanel, what do you call it, Grace? Tan de Soleil. Tan de Soleil. Cannot pronounce it for the life of me. It's a mistake that I used to do in the past where like I would double dip mm -hmm. in palettes and um, I stopped doing it. Obviously I used to still kind of uh, clean my products but even so you want to be careful when it comes to freelancing as a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. Even for your own kits, mm -hmm. I would totally recommend you to get something like this. I use this one. You spray it on the, let's say like you have this product right now mm -hmm. and you take this and you just spray it on like 10 uh, inches away and it sanitizes the entire product from any you bacteria. You don't have to wipe anything. I mean, I do wipe the first layer and then I spray it. Even if I didn't use it on someone, I will still wipe the first layer mm -hmm. and then spray it. Uh, and it works for eyeshadows, uh, cream products. It doesn't products. change the texture. It does not. Not at all. Okay. 
Now I'm using the same foundation palette to just add more dimension to the face. And I'm not doing like some crazy contour, I'm just hitting the kind of beginning of the cheekbones area. The trick to get that creaseless, flawless under eyes is for me to set it with a compact powder. First, just like target the under eyes area and then if you want to apply your loose powder or whatever you can apply it on top and that's even before setting the face so I'm just gonna tap the under eyes and make sure that there are no creases and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury uh, flawless finish powder it's one of my favorite powders because it's very finely milled and it has like kind of like a filter effect to it so I'm taking just a tiny bit look up I'm making sure just to set those creases that we saw earlier. And this will not add coverage or nothing. It will just add like a sheer layer of color and this kind of like flawless filter for the under eyes. I'm almost like, as you can see, I'm almost like pushing it like so. Now I'm using the same powder just to set the smile line, the mouth area. Now I'm going to use this amazing serum blush from M Cosmetics and I cannot stop using this for the life of me on anyone because it looks amazing on every single look that it creates. And I'm the biggest witness. It's incredible. I don't know what she made. Like, I don't know how she made it, but like one of my followers the other day messaged me and was like, I can tell immediately if you use this on a model because the model looks like a dewy dumpling. <laughs> and the trick with this guys, because when I first got it, I did not know how to use it because I did like this. I just pressed it once and then I did this and it did not disperse a lot. Yeah. So on their website, they say that you have to push it five times before each use. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. See? Oh, I get it. Right on my forehead. <laughs> And I do use this actually, guys, generously. I'm not shy when it comes to using it because it does sheer out into this gorgeous dewy sheen. I personally really love blush. Like, I really love blush. Blush is everything. I can't, I can't do my makeup with no blush. If I don't have blush, I'll use my lipstick. Yes, because I need it. And I'm gonna let it set for about 30 to 40 seconds and then I'm gonna blend it in just because it has a lot of oils in it So I don't want it to immediately disturb the base And I'm actually gonna drag it into the temples almost to create like a C section right here I love your looks with that C like blush effect. I love it when you take the blush into this kind of C section it's so flattering so as you guys can see it created this very gorgeous dewy dumpling. <laughs> gonna keep calling it a dewy us. dumpling. Yes. Ew. What? I just remember the texture of dumplings. Dumplings? Ooh. They're actually very soft and sweet. I, and they taste good. It's just. Ugh. So to top off the liquid blush, I'm using a mix of these blushes that I received from Nabla, and these are absolutely stunning. And what I'm doing here is just kind of setting the liquid blush. And now on top, I'm gonna use the Give Me Sun powder from MAC. And I'm almost gonna merge the blush with the bronzer. As you guys can see here. Now I'm taking the same brush that I used for the concealer and I'm just kind of blending in the edges of everything just to make sure that everything is blended flawlessly using Grace's favorite setting spray, the Glam Glow. This sprays very softly. And it smells just like candy. Mm. Amazing. <laughs> it does actually work. No, you ha there's another two levels. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. Click on it again and again. Oh yes! For the base of the eyes, I'm using this MAC Pro palette and I'm gonna use this shade right here. This palette is actually in the shade called The Romantic. And I just love these. 
Yeah, Arabia has always used these kind of um, eyeshadow creams on me. They're Notice. very nice. I like to use like a creamy base under the shadows just because it helps it stick more. And instead of just applying concealer and then powder on top, you're applying the true color. I'm applying the true color almost like as a concealer, and yes. then it will grab on top of it. Yes. And I'm focusing this color right in the outer corners and middle of the eyes because I do want to kind of put an orange actually in the front. And for this technique, I use two brushes. So there's one to apply the color and the other to blend. Because if I blend the color with the same brush that I applied the color with, On the it's just going to drag it right out yeah. and I don't want that. As you can see, I have like the control over especially the edge on how much I want. Now I'm going with the Makeup Forever blush palette and I'm actually taking this bright orange shade that you say that you actually like to put yes. it on. And when doing this technique, you have to keep in mind that this is all a base. If it all blends in, it looks kind of sheer, that's the whole point. It's not supposed to look extremely pigmented and harsh, this is like a base. So your actual powder eyeshadows will be on top of this, this is just to enhance whatever you're gonna put on top. Now I'm taking that same pink shade, and I'm applying it in the outer corners and the under eyes. Now I'm going to take the same orange and apply it right in the beginning of the under eyes. I'm taking this orange shade from the Huda Beauty Neon Palette. This is going to stick right away. And I sort of kind of like build up things so I don't apply a lot of color right in and then I apply more if I want to. There is this kind of like neony, yellowy shade. I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit of it. Now I'm going in with this highlight shade from Nabla. It's called Adults Only. And we did use this the other day on another look. This was the shade that made everything blend together. Right. It was there, like it was there and it was speaking to us. Yes. And I'm gonna focus this shade mostly in the outer corner of the eyes. Just to define the crease even more. Now I'm intensifying that same orange shade in the beginning. I just took a look, by the way, on the eyeshadow, and I am obsessed. We've never done anything like this. Yeah, I'm really excited on how it looks on you. Yes. I'm gonna take that pink shade from the Huda Beauty palette, and I'm just gonna put it right almost at the outer corner right here. And I haven't started the under eyes yet, but I'm gonna recreate exactly what I did on top. And I'm gonna do it for the bottom, and we're gonna be right back. That was a cool. So just because like you gained a little bit of weight, she's like literally she, shaming you? Yes. She doesn't even know me. She's never seen me before. The hell? But she felt like she had to tell me, well, looks like you were eating a lot of pizza. The lady I was initially working with is a very respectful, very nice lady. If I don't want to cause a scene that would make her upset. So I'm like, okay, this is something I can, you know, keep quiet about. But then while she was doing my hair, my eyes started oh watering my God. and I couldn't. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go to the bathroom and I'll be back. But like my lashes started falling off. Oh my God. <laughs> the makeup was... <laughs> That's awful. It was that is terrible. an awful experience. Well, that's not you, you know, weight is a very, very personal issue, yeah. and it's something that 
nobody should comment on. Yeah. Even if I had gained weight or, or lost, lost weight, weight, I do not think you should be... Should not even say anything. Yes. If you have a compliment, say it. If you, you don't, don't, just don't keep your say mouth shut. it. Whenever someone is seeing me uh, that hasn't seen me in a while, and they're like, "Oh my god, you lost a lot of weight. Are you okay?" Oh shit. <laughs> you look sick, honey. It's like yeah. telling someone you gained a lot of weight. Are you okay? Are you okay? It's literally the you same. You cannot thing. even win. Like if no. you gain weight or lose weight. To intensify the under eyes, I'm gonna use this Urban Decay eyeliner in the shade Alkaline, which is like a deep berry color. And I'm gonna focus this right at the outer corner and in the waterline. So we did apply mascara off camera and we did smoke the lower lash line a little bit. Now I wanna apply the highlight and I don't wanna apply something crazy. So I'm taking this Glowgasm palette from Charlotte and I'm gonna mix these two shades right here just to give it more of a gold sheen on top of the pink. Aren't we all obsessed with like full freckles? Full freckles filter on Snapchat. It's just so pretty. So we're creating it on real life. Yes. And I'm using the Sunkissed Freckle Pen from Lime Crime. I absolutely love this product. I felt like last time this was very natural, although it felt like you were putting a lot, like the way you're, um, like the way you're applying yes. it. Yes. It's because it goes on sheer, mm -hmm. and then you can build it up. Like, this is very good for, like, um, beginners with full freckles. Yes. It's gonna help them a lot. Yeah. Let's darken the brows a tiny bit. I'm using this Lime Crime Bushy Brow Pen. And this is in the shade Brownie. I started using um, soap for my brows. Mm -hmm. And ever since, everyone asks me if I've done, like, that um, eyebrow lamination oh, yeah. thing. This is the the brow soap that I used on her. I actually made this one. And it's just a regular bar soap. If you're interested to see how I made it, you can check my Instagram TV. It has all the information. I've gotten a lot of questions that it doesn't give the same effect and I always ask them if they're using a transparent or yes. a white soap. It has to be transparent. Because white will give it that, that layer of yes. kind of like a faded color. Yeah. So now that almost the look is complete, I'm gonna finish off with a very deep kind of pink lip and I'm gonna use this liner I'm not sure what is it called but I'm gonna find out from NARS and I prefer Grace to do her own actual lip line sometimes we actually I use a darker lip line just to kind of give the especially the edges more definition just slightly So now I'm actually going to do a mixture between two shades and this is Material Girl from Huda Beauty and I'm also using the Dragon Doll from By Terry and this one is like a really deep berry shade. This one is really pretty on its own but it's really intense. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly like the color I want. Just like a bright deep berry. Usually I can find deep berry in the market, but you cannot find it bright. And now to top the lips off, I'm gonna use the Lip Glow Oil from Dior. Okay, what do you think? I'm obsessed. I love it. I'm always scared to use these kind of lip colors, but then with Arabia, it's like, wow. This is the final look. You look absolutely stunning. I love these shades and they're kind of giving me like this Bollywood Barbie sunset look. What do you think? 
I'm obsessed with this look. I did not imagine it was gonna yes. come out like this. Yes. But it was amazing. And thank you so much for having me thank here. Thank you. With you. Thank you for being here with me. It's really an honor and I always enjoy doing makeup on you as you know thank you so if you guys are interested uh, check out our Instagram tutorial I'm gonna leave our information down below also if you didn't check out our previous tutorial on YouTube make sure to check that out as well uh, I hope you have an amazing week don't forget to subscribe and like and yeah thank you guys again thank you you're welcome bye guys take care guys